So this is going to be day two of the rocking chair build that I bought the templates from King's Fine Woodworking. So here we go. Starting heading down to my shop. The first thing I'm going to do is work on the back slats with a uh, belt sander. So I take it down with uh, 60 grit to that point and then go with 80 grit after that. And it comes out really clean, um, but it's a lot of work. And there's all the back slats sitting about as close as you're going to get them. So I ended up buying this on Amazon. I think it was like $350, but man, it's just so much easier uh, to maneuver, to, to sand out. As you can see here, the line there, the uh, Sharpie line, that's where you want to be. And it's so hard to get that consistently with a bandsaw. So this really cleans it up. Now it takes a ton of extra time, and that's what I'm doing this video for is to let you see actually how in-depth you really have to get to make these chairs super nice. It's a, it's a big job. Now I'm doing my parts a bit sporadically and uh, one of the reasons is I just didn't have the right wood for the rocker. I thought I was building the Adirondack chair. Now that I'm building a rocker, I need to get some additional wood. And I made a few mistakes in the back slats where there were knots and things like that. So I'm kind of all over the place, but that's how I work anyway. You know what I mean? I don't stick to one project all the way through. I move around the shop and do different things. I'm really doing a lot of bandsaw boxes. But Anyway, uh, this is the leg. And again, uh, very difficult to cut out super accurately and clean with the bandsaw. So this sander just makes, uh, it probably saves me uh, in, in a third of the time of what I would do with the belt sander, clamping it all together and clamping it to the table and that kind of thing. Uh, saves me about uh, two thirds of the time. So. so here I've just moved on back to doing a little band sawing to break up the monotony a little bit here I'm cutting out the back slats so that's the furthest back slat right there or for the seat sat slats I should say so back to the band saw here for a little bit and this is my third day working on the chair or yeah day three I would say and uh, it, I haven't worked a ton on it, probably five hours per day. So I'm into it about 15 hours at this point. And I don't even have all the parts cut out yet. It just, it's just very time consuming. And there's tons and tons of sanding. And that's the one of the most time consuming parts. But it completely pays off along with routering all the edges and making sure that you know which ones to router. Now, if you build the chair, if you follow the instructions, and then you build the chair one time, you'll see, obviously, where things make more sense as to why you would router one side and not router the other. So first I go over it with a 60 grit to get the really rough stuff off uh, where the band saw and the other saw didn't quite finish. Then I go to 80 grit, spend quite a bit of time with 80 grit, quite a few passes, finally finishing off with 180 grit and that makes the finish come out really, really nice. Probably a little overkill for outdoor furniture, but it's worth the effort. You know, again, this is a half a day of sanding right here, but it's worth it. Now here's the, the one of the things I was going to use, but anyway, we'll go to Penafin first. That's the perfect stuff. That's the other stuff from Blaspar. Uh, I'm going to sand all that off because the Penafin looks so much better. I just didn't have it at the time. And then when I found that the Amazon sold it, it made it really easy. And it just, as you can see here, it goes on so nice. It's an oil-based penetrating oil. And uh, it looks 
incredible on redwood. And this is the Brazilian rosewood oil, I think it's called. Again, I'll start linking that kind of stuff into my videos. I'm just so new at this, I don't... Yeah, I'll link it somehow to the videos in the Amazon description, I guess. Or the video description. So more seat slats here now. And I just decided the table saw made way more sense than trying to get it through the jigsaw and wear down that blade even faster. I've had that saw for two chair builds now and a few bandsaw boxes and I'm already to the point where I'm ordering blades. Now this tool, this again, $350 seemed kind of extreme, but it was uh, well worth the price. Here we're just penifin, more penifin, uh, the legs. And I might even scuff this down with 220 and put another coat on. I'm not sure that's necessary. That could just be coming from my auto painting background. So ideally you want to make templates out of three quarter inch Baltic birch. So I've been making those as I go along. Um, these are the brackets that connect to the arms so the arms don't fold over. Just taking my time, very carefully cutting out the, because uh, it's important to get the template right. You can still sand the template, but uh, generally I try and make the cuts as perfect as I can. 